We have an opportunity to build an oil empire. But we have to start from humble beginnings, starting with our one-acre lot here on the frontier. We will build our way to an oil tycoon. Welcome to the frontier. Welcome to the frontier. Our one-acre farm starts here. Not even supposed to rhyme, but it does. So it looks like we've got a little lawnmower, maybe a little pickup wagon behind it there. Uh, looks like we got some kind of little utility John Deere 110 with a little trailer. Some kind of cedar. I don't need this. Is that a cultivator? It looks to be a harrow. Is that a plow attached to it? What is this thing? What in the world? What is this? What am I supposed to do with this? Am I supposed to plow? Well, I've got seed back there behind me. I also see some chicken feed, which is good. Um, again, I didn't, I just bought the land. I didn't ask what was on it. I thought it was just land, but apparently there's stuff here. I guess as long as we've got chicken feed and seed, we should probably do something with our little little area here that we have. The chickens are going to need grass somewhere, so maybe we put the chickens over next to the house. Chickens, put you right over here next to the house. Now the question is, how many chicken pens do we want? So we just start with one for now and see what happens. Cave okay, feed going in. Thing must hold a lot of chickens. It held a lot of feed. All right, let's head over to the store and see if we can pick up some chickens from somewhere. Uh, I do need something to transport them in, so we have to swing by the equipment place first. I forgot the name of the building. I'm new in town. Give me a break. I'll remember at some point. Let's head over here and see what we can find. It's a very lively city, though. I love the uh, the change from where we were. We've been in Iowa for so long. There's no big cities around there. I'm liking this, though. A nice change of scenery. Oh, oh god, I thought the truck was about to pull out in front of me. Sheesh, man. Are they stopping? Okay. They're not going, we're going. I don't see anything coming that way. Alright, what do we got here? There's our little chicken cage. The tailgate's stuck. Okay, that's fine. We'll just... We'll just sit it in there like that. I think that works. Strap that in. Now I gotta find the animal dealer. The animal dealer, the location of a GPS, and it looks to be across town. Uh, out in the out in the country, away from the city here. We're gonna head out there and uh, pick up some chickens. Hello, sir. There's just a black sheep just sitting on the road here. Um, okay. Must be getting close. This road is extremely rough. I'm having to go really slow up through here. Look at this. We're just bouncing all over the place. That was an adventure just getting here. Jeez. Well, we made it. Let's go pick up some chickens. It's a nice place you got here, sir. Yeah. Oh, he's, he's just, just ignored me. Okay. Look at him, though. All hanging out back there in their little cage. Yeah, hey guys. Just hold on to your seat. This is a bumpy ride, alright? Make me eggs. Make me eggs, you crazy chickens. I'm gonna I'm gonna drive out of here so I don't run you guys over. Um I guess we'll leave the uh chicken pin in there for now. Maybe maybe we take it out. Let's go ahead and take it out. Alright, there we go. Oh, God <sighs> When that thing's it's it's made of light metals, but the, the pallet on the bottom is quite heavy. All right, we got our chickens in, so hopefully they'll start producing some some eggs. Make eggs. Make me eggs. They gotta get to 100% health, I think, or at least above 50% anyway. Um, yeah. Okay. Waiting on the chickens to make eggs. Let's go. See about something else here. Uh, I know that uh, we can we can salad sells for more than grass does, and we have a little bit of grass here. We don't have a lot. So maybe we need to plant some grass over here somewhere? Um, let me look at some options and go from there. It looks like our easiest option is going to be a little greenhouse um, for some basic crops. And then we've got this we've got this tiny little walk-behind tractor over here uh, with a plow and a cultivator and a cedar. And we've got a bag of seed. Um, we might as well put this to use. Maybe plow up some of this ground out here I think is probably not a bad option. So we should probably use this, but I think I want to use it over here on this side up against the fence. And maybe we put a little greenhouse uh, right here somewhere? I don't want to put it in our grass though, we need to mow all this. Maybe we put it right here. Now we just need to get some water to this thing somehow. This place is a tragic mess in here. And I think we're going to do strawberries for now. 
We just have to find a water trailer. Here at the store, hooking up our little water trailer. This is a very small water trailer, but uh, it's only it's the only option we have at the moment. So now I gotta go find some water somewhere. Again, thank goodness for having a uh, full drive. I would not trust an old two-wheel drive lizard to do this, but this lizard, this lizard F100, seriously, it's it's the way to go. You know, making my way back over here, I just realized this this town. Oh my God! Some of the good citizens came by and helped me helped me turn the truck back over. Wow, uh, that was unexpected. Water's going in. I don't know how many trips we're gonna have to make. I don't know how much water this thing actually takes. So that's gonna be a up and over. There we go. That's gonna be an issue, I do believe. Well over two thousand. Let's make a couple more trips. There we go. That's gonna do it for right now. We'll come back to this later. Right now we've got forty one hundred in there, and we have lettuce, strawberries. Yeah, we're not storing. We're going to change output and we're just going to direct sell that. No, we're not either. We're not going to direct sell those. Change those to storing. I'll throw them in the back of the truck and go sell them when we have to. We'll back this trailer on up some. The next question is, uh, how does this thing work? <laughs> uh, let's let's plow up some land, shall we? This is going to be it's going to be more than interesting, I do believe. Oh boy! All right, five miles an hour. We're going to little walk behind uh, old tractor here. This should be this should be fun. All right, I just want to, I want to, uh, we need more grass, guys. We need more grass planted. I don't have anything to harvest crops with, but more grass is definitely a good thing. So we're going to plow up a little area right here. We go right to the edge. Right in this area here is probably good. All right. Unfold. We lower till it to make new ground. Aha. Okay, there we go. All right, we're gonna be here a minute. You know, as I'm getting turned around here, I, I don't know what this pile of stuff is here, but um, I'm, I'm curious. We're gonna have to figure that out at some point. I don't know what it is. Again, we bought the land, uh, and I didn't, I didn't really question a whole lot. We just kind of went with it. So, I don't know what this is. You know, just, just looking at this area, this may be, I may have bitten off more than I can chew here. This is, this is quite a large area for this little plow. But we're gonna go. We're gonna keep going. We're going to see how long this takes. It's going to take quite a while. Check the time in game right now. 1345. You know, I got to tell you, uh, I don't know if the yield from this is going to be worth what we're doing. <laughs> but uh, it's definitely interesting. It's definitely something different to work with. I've never worked with this small of equipment before. So I'm okay with this, I guess. We're, we're, we're doing something totally different from what I normally do. Uh, and the small equipment is quite neat. It's just taking a while. You can see the progress we've made. We've made some. Uh, it is now 1408. Uh, let's check the final time when we get done plowing all this up, though. We're on our last pass. This thing, this, oh, God, this is going to be full of gravel and stones and everything else, but we really don't have a choice. I just hope it doesn't tear the mower up. Uh, we, we are we are just digging up uh, an area in, in gravel here, so uh, hopefully it doesn't tear anything up. That would be preferred, but we are done with this one. Let's go change out the implement now uh, and put down... A, uh, put on put on the cultivator. We gotta harrow this up now so we can plant it. We already got seed in the planter, so that's good. It does just it takes a while though. You see the time? It's 14:51 right now. Uh, so it took us quite some time to get to this point. A couple more hours for cultivating. We're gonna be ready for some dinner at some point. It's getting late in the day here. Step over that carefully. A little bit more. There we go. All right, cultivator is on folded. Ah, it's quite a bit wider than the plow. That's nice. It shouldn't take near as long with this thing. All right. Let's, uh, let's just drop it down and go. Let's see how this works. Oh, yeah, look at that. That looks fantastic. Oh, it's a little, it's a little rough. It's a little rough. It's okay, though. It's a lot faster than the plow. This is great. Oh, this is gonna take no time here, guys. All right. It is 1457, and we've made one pass. See how long it takes us when we get done. This is taking a lot less time. I'm on my last pass here. Just a few more little crevices to go. It, this only took about 20 minutes. This is not bad at all. All right. I'm gonna raise that up. Fold it up. I'm going to go put this one away. We'll grab the cedar and see how this goes with the cedar. I don't, I don't know. It doesn't look like there's enough room behind this thing for me to walk with the cedar. But we'll see. Maybe I'm wrong. I hope I am. I had to climb up on top of the cedar to get it to connect. Oh, I think we ride on the back of this thing. Oh, check that out. Okay. Uh, I, I think that's where we're supposed to ride anyway. Uh, looks like we're just walking through it. A little bit of a little bit of a glitch there. That's okay, though. All right, we want to plant grass right here. I know this sounds crazy, but uh, I don't... I, again, I don't have anything to harvest with, so grass is about our only option at the moment. Oh, there we are. Now we're, we're planting. 
I don't know what I did the first time, but we weren't planting anything the first time. All right, so we gotta we gotta go get the beginning part again there. I think. All right. Uh, well, you see how this works. So, uh, no need to watch me struggle struggle in and around the fence the whole time. One last little pass here, and we're good to go. Grass is in. And I know what you're thinking. Why are you just doing grass? Well, because we can make silage. Well, we need a silage pit. That's the that's the only downside to this. Um, is we do need a silage pit in some way, shape, or form. I don't know how that's going to look. But um, we do have some grass to cut, so we'll go ahead and get that done too today. And then we'll move on from there. But yeah, so we, we need a little silage pit, and I think I'm going to put it underneath the shed. I know that sounds crazy, but I need to keep some some room somewhere. Will you back up, please? Play awkward spot there. Let's see. Let's go ahead and disconnect this. There we go. Uh, and I think we'll just go ahead and back back up to the cultivator uh, or the plow, maybe. The plow is probably the next thing we're going to use. I don't think we're going to have to replant grass anytime soon, but we will need to plow up some more ground at some point. So we'll just go ahead and connect back to that. And we'll turn that one off. There we go. All right. Now, uh, I don't know how much it's going to take to put this down. Let's see. $500 silage pit is down. All right, let's do some mowing now. I don't know what, what all I can do with this guy, but I do know that I can... If I need to transport something, I can just set it right there, right? Maybe. Maybe. <laughs> uh, it doesn't look like it holds it very well. Let's take the other chicken feed on over uh, to the chickens. It looks like our strawberries are growing nicely here. If we have any eggs out yet. No eggs out yet. So we're all still on the same day, so... But I guess that works. I didn't mean to give them any feed yet, but there we go. Move this over to the side. We got plenty of room room to roam around. Looking good. Uh, I don't know how many eggs six chickens are going to produce either. But again, um, we don't have a whole lot of options. All right, we do need to do some mowing though. So let's go ahead and let's just start right here. It's about all I can I can get to with the mower, but uh, that's a good bit though. We've we've done a good bit here with the mower, just picking up some of this loose grass and such around. Let's see if I can get a little bit in here. Yeah, there we go. That's a good bit. Uh, we're just about full too. I wanted to fill this thing up completely, but I don't think that's gonna happen. Uh, hey, wait a minute. Wait a minute. It's down here. Is this ours? This might be ours here. Oh, it is. Okay, we can mow this too. This is good. We can mow the driveway. We gotta mow this anyway. Why not make some money off of it, right? That's the only logical explanation. Make some money while we're while we're cleaning up our our area here. Uh, I think this is a good opportunity to make some money and uh, keep our area cleaned up. Get out and close this gate. Come on, come on. There we go. Okay, back on the mower. Yeah, this is a good opportunity to make some money. Uh, while cleaning up our, our yard because the yard is well, let's just be honest it's it was overgrown it was it was dirty we needed to do this uh, I don't know that we can mow that hillside there but we can definitely mow this and this is starting to look pretty good around I think the house is looking a lot better we just look at, look at how nice that looks everything mowed and all nice and tidy and everything it looks good we've got about um, one percent more to get so I'm gonna try to fill this thing up completely like I said and then we'll go dump it all right, we filled it up and we left a little bit there. Uh, we can pick that up later though, no problem. Reopen the gate there, and then we'll go dump this stuff. Uh, this is looking pretty good. We'll see, we'll see how this does. This is not gonna be a whole lot, I, I understand. But uh, hopefully, though I have a problem. Uh, I can't get this to dump in there for some reason, and I don't know why. But it will not go. So we're just gonna drive over here to the uh, the machine shop. They have a they have a little sell spot out there you can sell anything in. So we're gonna go see if they'll uh, accept the grass. Can we just sell grass? Oh, we can. Okay. Uh, wait. Why was it back here? Hang on. They won't take it at the store either. Now I have a problem. Now we have an issue because now I don't have anywhere to put this. And I can't empty it. And I don't know why. I don't know what I broke. I broke one of the levers somehow, somewhere. Well, I got it to dump out, but uh, it dumped right on the edge. Uh, we, we got it in here anyway. Let's see what the uh, compaction level is. 8%. I'm trying to get this to, to smudge down that way and not so much outside of this thing. But it looks like it's going to go more outside than anything else. This is all compacted down. 38.57. We'll cover it. And that's how much is left, so I, yeah, I'm definitely going to have to go buy a shovel or something to clean this up. 
uh, and get more of this back in there. But it's all compacted, and the chickens are chickening, and the strawberries are uh, growing, and we are storing 147. We need something to pick these pallets up with, though. Maybe we just pick them up and throw them in the back of the truck. I think that'll be fine. We are going to have to make some changes because this thing is just not, it's not cooperating. Looks like this grass has already grown back over here. That was quick. Chickens keep it fertilized, I reckon. Let's go check out our little house here. Our bedroom. What's this? Oh, that's how we sleep. That's cool. Okay. Sleep trigger there. A little bathroom. Very nice. Very nice. I haven't even checked out my, my house yet, which is... So we got a secondary bedroom with um, some kind of game over here being played. I can't tell what it is, though. Definitely a joystick there, though. Pretty cool. Living room, kitchen, very quaint, small little house. I like it. Maple leaf bag. I don't know how to play the piano or read sheet music, but it's there if you do. Uh, but yeah, there we go. So one day on the farm wrapped up, we're going to go sleep and uh, see if we get some eggs produced. $368 in property maintenance. Oh my god, yeah, we're going to have to make some money for sure. Uh, it is nighttime. We do have some eggs out here already. 28 pieces. I don't know that they're, wa that they're worth selling, but these strawberries might be. We got uh, 400 kilograms, 500 liters of strawberries, which is pretty good. Oh, check it out. Our grass is growing over here. Very nice, very nice. Silage is doing what right now? 55%. That's nice. It is April. So we'll move on into uh, into May and hopefully have some more stuff. Let's go feed the chickens, though. There you go. Take some more feed. They didn't need a whole lot, though. Boom. There we go. Uh, yeah, we'll let the uh, strawberries go on one more day here, I think. Let the grass and silage go on one more day, and then we'll have to figure it out after that. Looks like the silo's done. It's done fermenting, so we're going to have to figure out how to get that over to the store. We got some strawberries here. We're going to throw in the back of the truck. There's probably some more eggs over there as well. We'll throw in the back of the truck too. Let's see. Let's just, um, yep, yep, right, right there. There we go. I don't know if we're going to be able to fit more than, more than just this in there. We can probably set the eggs on top. I think that'll be okay. Hopefully anyway. Uh, yep, right there. Sweet. Okay. In the back of the truck, we're going to go ahead and take the eggs too. There is 84 pieces. Go ahead and take those. And hopefully get a pretty decent price for all this stuff somewhere. I don't know where that would be, but there we go. Move that over just a bit. Straighten it up some. Oh my goodness, I climbed up on top of the truck. I didn't even mean to. There we go. Put a strap on those. Let's go make some money, shall we? Think if the store is open, which I don't know if they are or not. Maybe we can sell it over there. Uh, if not, we're going to have to figure out where to go sell strawberries and eggs. Uh, hopefully we can just sell them here. I know we're not going to get maximum dollars out of this, but I don't have a choice. We have to sell things, so. Boom. Oh, $162 for that? That's pretty good. That was only 84 eggs. That's how much we get out of the strawberries. All right, 1147. Uh, that's pretty good, but that is not gonna, that's barely keeping up with the daily cost. The eggs and, between the eggs and the strawberries, we're barely keeping up with our daily cost. I think I'm going to go grab a shovel from the hardware store and then we'll scoop all that into the, the back of the little John Deere trailer, I think. It's not going to hold a bunch, but it'll hold some. So let's go get that done real quick, like. Okay, well, I ended up selling the mower and the uh, pickup wagon for the mower. We, we may actually have to take out a loan, which I, I wasn't going to do to start with, but we'll see. I've got 4000 the, the thing I'm going to be looking for is this guy right here. Uh, it's 5900 I don't know if we're going to get enough money today to pick this up or not, but it's got a hopper on it, so that would make things a lot easier. Uh, it's $5,900. I've got $4,436. let us see if we can make that happen. I hope we can. Let's see. Nobody really stops in this town. They just kind of go. We're headed over here to pick up our shovel now. Make sure we strap it in there, because if not, it'll go rolling around. Don't want to damage the bed of the truck by any means. Not that it would. That's a silly statement. I just hope we can get enough money out of this silage to do some justice here. So we're going to have to run it over to the store with this little guy here, I think. But that will work. I don't mind. I don't know how much this thing holds either. Probably not a lot. But uh, we'll just pull it down here and scoop some of the silage in and head over to the store sell point. Your silo is opened. All right. There's some in there now. 
The shovel's very awkward to use. We got that filled up, kinda. Holds 2,500, hey, that's not bad. It's not bad at all. All right, let's head over and try to sell this and see what happens. Okay, moment of truth. A couple hundred bucks, 741, we're almost there. I don't know if we have enough left to, to make this work or not. So we may have to take out a small loan and if we have to, we have to, but I'm trying not to. I'm trying to do this without it. We'll see. I dropped a little on the ground. All right, though. Looks like that's the rest of the silage. There we go. We'll see if we can get it in there this time without uh, throwing it everywhere, hopefully. All right, there we go. None on the ground that time. I'm going to move this grass over into the silage pit, I think. There we are. Okay. Let's uh, throw our shovel down over here somewhere. Go sell the rest of our silage. See if we got enough money. I doubt we will. I need 56 4. I don't think we're going to get there with this. I just realized the store's got a place to sell just grass over here. Maybe we just mow, take out a little small loan and mow grass and then come back and dump it over here. I wonder how much we get for it over here. Can we even sell silage here or is it just grass only? Let's see. Oh, it's grass only. Okay. All right. Well, I mean, maybe, maybe that's a good option. Maybe we just sell grass. I don't know. We'll have to wait and see, I guess. That's a loading dock right there. That's pretty sweet. I didn't realize that was there. Oh man, that's cool. Okay. Store's got a, a little bit going on. It looks like there's two different size ramps over there on that side too. Store's actually pretty nice here at the Frontier. Old Frontier Town. What do we end up with? Oh, man, 55, 61. We are so very close to getting there. I want to try to do this without, without um, taking out a loan, but I don't think we have an option now. We need this little guy just to haul stuff around back and forth. Is it a pain? Yes, but we still need it. I want to know what this stuff is. I'm about to go grab my shovel. We'll see what this pile of stuff is here. It looks like salt. Why would there be a pile of salt on there? That seems strange. What is this? That is lime. Oh, dang. Okay. Can we sell lime somewhere? Can I have my shovel back? Yeah, can we sell the lime? I mean, can we spread the lime? Can we put the lime on the field? Oh, I didn't mean to drop my shovel. Give me that back. I mean, it's like, it's dropping like random bits on there, but... Uh, let's sell some lime. Maybe that'll sell pretty well. I didn't realize this was here. I think it's full. I dumped some on the ground again, though. Oh, we can sell lime. How much does it sell for, though? That's the question, I guess. Let's see, we got 2,500. Oh dang, that sells really nice. It's like four four fifty per thousand. I mean, sixty five hundred right there. That's really nice, guys. Okay, cool. That means we can pick up our new mower. That's what we were looking for. Uh, I, I'm not quite ready to buy the zero turn yet. This guy right here, though, this little grasshopper is gonna be fantastic. I think. Oh, we can get the black black edition. I don't want that one though. I like that. Yeah, let's go with just the old standard, I guess. Uh, fifty nine. Oh, it's fifty nine hundred. I thought it was fifty six hundred. They lied to me? No, it's, it's, yeah, it is. Okay. Uh, it's got the hopper on it. And I'm hoping we can dump that. I hope this works, because if not, we're wasting more money here. I think we're going to sell one more load of lime, though, for that kind of money. When we get in a tight for money, we can definitely sell lime. The selling lime thing might be, might be more profitable than I thought. Uh, there's not a lot here, though, so I do want to save some of this for when we need it. Because we don't want to just run ourselves out of lime, right? We may need it at some point for something else. It's here for a reason, so I'm afraid to just sell it all. Um, and that pile is getting substantially smaller. Well, at least the front side is anyway. There's still plenty there, I guess. So we could we could do this more. But I think I'm just going to sell one more trailer load. That'll give us some operating cash for a couple days here. And uh, we'll call that good, I think. Another full trailer load. And I can tell because I've dumped it all on the ground again. But that's okay. We got it. Another $995. Gotta love it. $1,600. All right, that gives us operating cash for a day or two. That'll give us time to get some more strawberries and some more eggs in. That's great. It's really it's a lively little town. Lots going on here. Lots of little bakeries and nice. It's a nice little town, really. Except for the... Somebody tagging on the wall there, but it's okay, I guess. I'll just not pay attention to that, maybe. We'll just pretend it's a nice little town. There's no tagging going on. Time to go try out our brand new little mower. Uh, all seven miles an hour of it. The Profi Hopper. 
And I know, I know, if somebody's watching this at Watch Pickles video, this, he specifically said without starting a lawn company. This is not a lawn company. This is me mowing my grass uh, and not taking out loans. So, yeah. While I'm cheating a bit by using mowers and grass, uh, I'm also doing silage. So it's not necessarily a lawn company. It's a silage company. The trick is going to be whether or not this actually dumps into the silage pit. But let's start mowing. You know what I do like, though, is I... Oh, look at that. Yeah, it picks it right up. That's good. I can get right up against the fence, so we can get way more... Oh, oh God, we're running over the gate. Okay, get off the gate. There we go. Uh, we can get real close to the fence here, which is great. That means we can get way more grass than we did before. Oh, okay. Maybe not run over the fence. That'd be good. Yeah, we can get right up against it, though. All the way around, it looks like. I just got to get back off the fence now uh, don't run everything over all right there we go okay uh, we're good we're good we're good okay well I'll come back around and get that side getting right up against the edge is gonna be the hardest part after that it's just streaking on and we're doing pretty good we already got uh, 300 liters in there that's pretty nice it's gonna take a while to compact that all but uh, that's hopefully we can compact it before we dump too much in there maybe Feels like it's about to start raining that's not good oh there it is I heard the thunder I heard it, and now we've got rain. Great. It's fantastic. There's our first load. Let's hope this goes like I hope it is. Uh, we're still mowing in the rain. I don't care. we got to get it done. All right, here we go. Dump it right in the middle, hopefully. Oh, look at that. That works so much better than the other one. Just like it's supposed to be. Nice. Yes, this is going to be great right here, I think. Sweet. Also, with this thing, I can get all underneath here, too. Get all this cleaned up. It's like having a weed eater without a weed eater. You know, this motor is actually quite nice. It's got good mobility. Uh, it covers a little bit of area. If you're not trying to mow, like, acres of stuff, um, this, this Amazon Profiliner is the way to go, I think. This thing's super nice, in my opinion. Uh, holds a thousand liters, which is kind of probably a little bit OP, but uh, still though, like it's it's super super nice for for what it is and for what you can get done with. It. Look out, chickens! God, running chickens over. Well, I know we're eating for dinner. Uh, we haven't even started on our field yet. I'm gonna let our field keep growing before I do anything with it. It is very bumpy over there. No strawberries out yet. We do have some eggs starting to pop up again, which is good. I'm going to have to bring my shovel over here because I started dumping this too early. Um, we do have a little bit outside there, but that's okay. Uh, we're going to pull up a little further this time, I think. There we go. Yeah, we're going to let our field grow to max uh, max height here, I think. We'll put our profiliner up. We'll grab our shovel and shovel that little bit of grass we got left over into the uh, the silage pit there. Uh, we did get the rest of the yard mode. It is finished up, so that's good. Uh, looks good again. Uh, maybe our neighbors need, need, need the yard mode. No, I'm kidding. We're not we're not going to go that route. Uh, I, I don't want to go just the uh, the route of the. The lawn mowing company. We could, but I'm not going to. We're only mowing our grass and our lawn to get uh, to get ahead here. So, all right, there we go. Let's get that compacted in. I don't know how many liters is there. I didn't even look to see. Forty-two fifty-three. That's pretty good. I don't know how long it's going to take to compact though. That's going to be the that's going to be the thing. It's only one percent compacted. That's not that's not good. All right, this thing is not working to to, to compact chaff. Uh, I think we may have to get the truck over here to do it. Uh, and even then, I, I'm not super um, super comfortable with the fact that it's going to be able to do it well either. But for now, that is going to do it for the first episode of my One Acre Farm Frontier Edition. If you like this series, you know what to do. Be sure to leave a like, comment, subscribe, all that kind of stuff. I appreciate you guys. Coming out with me for live streams on Twitch and for... 
uh, some stuff on my main channel if you want to watch something other than Farm Sim, and then my Pixel Deuce Place channel, I'm currently uploading Dinkum and Harvest Moon, if you want to go check out those. All the links are down below in the description. I appreciate you, and we'll see you next time here on the Frontier.